Starve a Peasant, Speculate by Dr. Doggerel. Taking a bite out of crime, one rhyme at a time. Here's good news. It's not too late. You can learn to speculate. Don't fret about your savings rate. Roll up your sleeves and speculate. Instead of pulling out your hair, start thinking like a millionaire. All you need is cash and dare, and a heart so hard you will not care when you fill the hungry with despair. Let me explain what you must do. It's simple now. It's two plus two. Just put your bucks into the feed that other people really need. Just buy the crops before they're grown. It's someone's future you now own. And futures, they are rightly called. Just drive the price up as they're hauled out of the field before the plate. You got them now, and they can't wait. Because they're hungry, can't you see? So you have got them up a tree. You drive a wedge, though it is rude, between the hungry and their food. So now they'll pay a pretty price. Ain't making killing profits nice. Yes, you've become the middleman between the farmer and the stand, between the seller and the eater. You've become the real price beater. That is, you beat the real price up and up and up and up and up. You beat them right up to the ceiling. Now you know you're really dealing. Let me make this step quite clear. This is what makes food costs dear, along with drought and storms and locusts, speculators are precocious. They're cute in how they buy and sell, forgetting what a living hell it is to not afford the rice to feed your kids, or half a slice of bread because the wheat was sold for dealer, so dealers could turn wheat to gold before that wheat was baked to bread. And now there are millions nearly dead who without bread cannot be fed. It's quite a business. You can't lose. You'll dine on shrimp and guzzle booze by making profits without working. Those other chumps are surely shirking. Oh, why don't they get a job for pay or dive in dumpsters anyway? You'll feel their plight is not your care as you become a billionaire. Why stop with grain? You're feeling sunny. Let's speculate in oil for money. We'll buy some crude, 10,000 barrels. And while we're at it, herds of cattle, we'll push those prices up as well. And when they're ripe, we'll sell and sell and laugh our way to our bank's door while cruising past the homeless poor. Don't think I'm simply here to tease. Speculation is a breeze. Just ask the millions who are doing what I describe while only screwing peasants in some third world dumps the kind of folks you'd call real chumps for paying such outrageous prices for the crap we say this rice is. Let's look at oil as it still rises once again to obscene prices. Yes, the Chinese are demanding since their business is expanding. And as the in-ground oil, in oil grows low, there's just one way the price can go. So let's stick our foot in the door. It's happened many times before and take our cut and make our nut and pray to God there is no glut when oil's so dear out of sheer fear the folks won't put their cars in gear. Yes, speculation is a winner. It shoots past every other sinner in the damage that it causes, in the cruelty it endorses, in the collapse of human order, preferably outside our border. But even here it won't be bad, Hell, no one starving can stay mad long enough to pick a fight. We'll feed the cops to keep things tight and vote for those who think we're right. So how's about some speculation? Buy some futures, then vacation in some tropic paradise where peasant slaves will treat us nice and serve us steak while they steal rice from plates they scrape in hotel kitchens. Our parties there could sure be bitchin'. Or maybe Haiti will invest in, once starvation ends congestion. Build posh resorts that we can rest in after our long and fruitful hours, placing bets and buying powers, influencing those who set the prices. We'll take a break, indulge our vices. Our life will be a bed of roses. If others sniff, we'll cut off noses. For speculation, give three cheers and pass around expensive beers, 
But don't go down back alleys dark and stay away from public parks. And don't trust cleaning ladies, sweet. They'll rob you blind and steal the meat right out of your refrigerator. They say they do it for their child. Don't humor them. They'll just go wild. Next time you'll lose your caviar. Don't trust the man. They'll go too far. I hate it when they steal your food. These slaves have such an attitude.